One of my least well-received videos is a response to Foamy the Squirrel about bullying in the classroom, and I think there's a lot of confusion on that video. And somebody recently made a video response to it that I think is pretty well out of line and makes some attacks on my character. So I think I'm going to respond to that, and in the course of doing so, I should be able to address some of the issues that came up in the comment section as well. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to say, you've obviously never been bullied before, sir. It's unclear what I said that leads you to believe that I've never been bullied, and at no point in my video did I say that bullying wasn't a problem, that it wasn't harmful, or that it was easy for victims or school employees to handle. In fact, the entire point of the video was the very opposite of all those things. My video explained that bullying is a complex problem that requires a lot more than just a teacher to do something about it to solve. For whatever reason, you and several other commenters took that to mean that I was claiming bullying isn't a problem, and you felt compelled to give a personal account of your experience as a bully victim. The vast majority of people get bullied at some point in their lives, and most do some bullying of their own at some point, even if they don't realize it at the time. A lot of bullying comes from kids who don't think that what they're doing or saying is going to hurt the victims as much as it does. So, most people have been on both sides of that issue, and I don't foresee that changing. For the record, I've attended and taught in public schools for all of my life, and I've been bullied more than my share. It's unwise to open your argument with an unsubstantiated assumption about the other person. Nobody deals with their own freaking problems. They just push their problems on somebody else and let the other person deal with it. I've seen that happen with an experience of mine. You want to think I'm lying? Go ahead. But I can tell you right now, you can ask either one of my family members and they'll tell you I'm telling the truth. By not dealing with their own problems, do you mean like parents not dealing with raising their kids to not bully other kids or how to handle bullies and leaving that to the teachers? Do you mean kids not dealing with bullies and leaving the teacher or administration to make the bullying magically stop? What you call people's own problems sometimes require a network of people or completely alternate solutions to properly solve. A student being bullied isn't just the teacher's problem. That problem belongs to the victim, the bully, the parents of both students, the administration, the teacher, and the local culture itself. And it takes all of those people to really solve the issue. Also, when you tell me something about yourself, you don't need to assume that I won't believe you, then request that I call your family for validation. I don't have them on speed dial. I was taken out of school and started homeschool in third grade because of bullying in my school. What's this have to do with my video? It turns out that in your case, the problem couldn't be corrected and was deemed that it would be best by your school and your family that you learn in an alternative setting. I don't know the details, you didn't share many, but I do know that I never once said bullying doesn't happen or that it wasn't a bad thing. I simply stood up for the teachers who Foamy seems to think are doing nothing about it just because bullying occurs. People are going to say you can't base your school, you can't base your opinion on public schools through your school, through your specific school. All schools are not the same bullshit. Every single school in America has bullying in it. I don't give a shit what anybody says, period. Is that your point against my video? That bullying occurs in schools everywhere? Man, that sounds familiar. Where have I heard that before? Bullying does take place at all grade levels, and you never specify a certain grade level in your video. I acknowledge and address the issue of bullying. Also, the fact that bullying exists in all schools that the two of us know of doesn't make it okay for you to assume that every public school and its staff handles those issues in the exact same way that the one faculty in your school did. They bullied the crap out of me. I told my principal. I told my teachers. Nobody did nothing about it. Your erroneous use of double negatives aside, the fact that bullying at your school persisted after you reported it to your principal and the teacher doesn't mean that they did nothing about it. This is another frequent comment on my video, so I'm happy you mentioned it here. Granted, it's entirely possible that the staff at your school were all child-hating, bully-supporting curmudgeons. I don't know. I wasn't there. What I can tell you is that administration or teachers dealing with the bully usually do so in one-on-one -on -one and or parent conferences with the bully. There's no guarantee that those methods will be effective. Even parents who are informed and concerned haven't always raised their kids in such a way that they have the tools to reach them. Also, children are people. And ask any parent, 
Being an adult doesn't give you mind control powers over those children. So it's entirely possible that a teacher conferenced with the student, contacted the parent, contacted administration, or even recommended to the school board that the bully was unworthy of placement in a public education system. As a student, you wouldn't see the teacher doing any of those things. But that doesn't mean that they weren't done. If the chain of command above the teacher didn't listen or didn't do their job as effectively as possible or the methods didn't work, it's out of the educator's hands. But you probably hadn't considered those things before just assuming that everybody ignored you because nothing was done publicly to admonish the act. As I mentioned in the other video, you can't just throw a kid out of the class for misbehavior or bullying. The fact is that a kid who is an insecure bully who hates school and everyone around him, that doesn't make that teacher any less accountable for teaching that student the state standard curriculum. I beat the guy's head until he started bleeding. Yeah, I got expelled from school, but you know what? It worked. Because now that bully had learned a lesson and, he has, and the man has nothing but respect for me now. Teachers don't do shit about bullying. So you're saying that the only effective way to get that bully to stop bullying you was for you to beat his head until he began to bleed. And you expect a teacher to have done that for you? I'm not sure what your point is here. You're making the same mistake that Foamy's video did, which was to complain about the problem, to insult the people who are doing their best to stop it in many cases, though not all, and not offering an acceptable solution. And you claiming to be a teacher yourself? Yes, I am claiming to be a teacher. If you don't believe me, just ask my family. I don't know what you look like. I can't tell what kind of a person you are just because I can't see your face in the damn video. What are you afraid of showing in the video, huh? Why, why are you hiding your face, man? You are afraid people are going to find out who you are? I'll leave a link in the description that answers that question for you, but more importantly, I think it would be valuable for you to understand that it takes more than just looking at someone's face to know that person's character and profession. Bringing up that you don't see my face is a complete non-starter. I was bullied by my teachers. Because the majority of my teachers hated my guts because I knew more than they did. I strongly doubt that your teachers hated your guts. Most students are unable to realize it at the time of their education, but teachers usually desperately crave to see their students succeed. All of their students. They want their students to do well, to pass their classes, to move on in life, and to become better people because of what they've learned. Even if a student is horribly behaved in class, that's not enough to make me hate the student or desire to see them bullied. I'm not saying that you had good teachers, or that it's impossible for them to have disliked you. In my first video, I acknowledge that bad teachers certainly do exist, but if I had to place a wager on it, I'd guess that it's an overstatement to claim that they hated your guts, and just plain and accurate that they were driven to hatred by jealousy of your superior knowledge base. Teachers don't know shit. Saying that it requires a higher education to be a teacher than some of these older people? Just because a person's, just because a teacher's younger doesn't mean they know more than these older people. I have no idea how you got that claim from what I actually said in the video, because at no point did I say a younger teacher has a higher education than an older one. At no point did I say all younger teachers are better than older teachers. Here's what I actually said. Now, I'm not going to speak as though all teachers are good at their jobs just because they have them. Many teachers, particularly older ones, have been burned out by the rigors of the profession and are just going through the motions during their last ten years or so, sitting on tenure and waiting to stumble across the finish line of retirement. Those teachers should be removed to make room for younger, more invigorated prospective educators. That doesn't mean that all older teachers are bad teachers or that it's impossible for a young teacher to be a bad teacher. The point was that once a teacher is too burned out by the exhausting profession, he or she should step out of it and let someone with more energy and patience take that position. I meant some of them. Some of them might be complete assholes because they're sick and tired of handling with kids. Because they're sick and tired because they end up having to be the ones to do, do something about it when nobody else will. Yes, that's kind of exactly what I just said in that clip that I played back for you, which you completely misunderstood when you responded to it. How dare you sit there and say that younger teachers are better than older teachers? I didn't say that. At all. I never have, and I never will. I've known and had some excellent teachers who were old and some who were young. I've known and had some awful teachers who were older and some who were young. Listen more carefully before you attack. Dude, you are a fucking idiot. To sit there and simply say that teachers do their jobs correctly. They don't. 
Yeah, I never said that all teachers do their jobs correctly and went out of my way to point out that many of them don't for various reasons. I pointed out that teachers who do go out of their way to do their jobs don't have mind control over students, nor are bullied students exclusively their responsibility. I simply defended teachers from being labeled as lazy and irresponsible just because bullies exist in school. They used to paddle kids when they disobeyed teachers. Fucking paddle their asses, man. And I wish that shit was still existent to this day. Bullying exists more nowadays because bullies have become punk ass bitches and nobody's taught them a lesson because their parents don't give a shit about them so they have problems. So you acknowledge that a prime cause of children inhibiting bully behaviors is that they've been neglected and or ignored by their parents. They have issues and they are products of their environment over which they have no control. And your brilliant method for teaching bullies a lesson is to beat them with a paddle. That's a fantastic solution. I suppose that to teach them calculus, we should just bring in a whip and give them a set of calculus problems and strike them every time they get them wrong, huh? I have an entire video on that subject that I'll also link below. You are not a teacher. I can guarantee you of that shit because if you were, then you would know. You don't know shit. That is a very compelling piece of evidence that you have for proving your guarantee that I don't have the profession that I do. I'm also going to link below some people's channels that have been in my home, have seen the school that I work for, and most of whom have actually been in my classroom at some point. You can hit them up if you feel like checking into your guarantee. They have YouTube channels which show their faces, so according to you, you'll instantly know what kind of people they are. I wasn't able to learn shit in school. I did notice that. My teachers were teaching me out of a book. They weren't teaching me out of what they have learned from their schooling, okay? I tell you right now, I guarantee you I could pass a teacher's degree test. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Simply because they teach out of a book. The credibility of your personal guarantees is shrinking rapidly now. You seem to be under the impression that to get a degree in education, you just go take a test and pass that, and then they give you a certificate in a classroom full of young minds to hand over to you. You also seem to think that that test just assesses if you're able to read from a book or not. That's not how it works. I was in college for four years, two years of liberal studies, two years of methods classes, and my minor. During that time, I logged 100 classroom observation hours. Then I spent an entire semester working as a full-time teacher intern, not only going unpaid, but also continuing to pay my college so that I could pass that part of the course. Only after I passed all of those requirements was I able to take my basic skills test, the test in the content area I majored in, and another test for that which I minored in. Then I had to be certified in first aid and CPR before getting my certificate. And I still wasn't guaranteed to have a job. They don't teach out of their own brain knowledge. They don't use this right here. They read from a freaking little, freaking little booklet. That's what they read from. Teachers don't teach their own knowledge majority of them don't give a shit about the kids and if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna tell me that they do give a shit about kids you're wrong because majority of them don't there's a wide spectrum of quality skill compassion and more for teachers that are employed in this country i've worked with and studied with and learned from many of them over the last half a decade and you're in no position to make a judgment call about how the majority of us feel teach or think based on your individual, personal experience. They're getting paid money out of my taxpayer dollars to sit on their freaking asses all day long teaching a bunch of kids something out of a fucking book. I'm done with you at this point. I've acknowledged that there exist both good and bad teachers, as you'll find in any profession. I encourage you to do some research on the salaries of teachers who work with the most challenging students, with the fewest resources, and the poorest school districts in this country, before you accuse people of just coming into a classroom, sitting on their ass and reading from a book, and saying that that's their only job. I encourage you to look into what the standards for teaching are, what's required of them, how are teacher evaluations done, how do auditings happen. I encourage you to look into those things before you assume that all a teacher has to do is be able to read from a book and sit at a desk. 
I advise you to listen more carefully to what people say before you respond to them. I am responsible for what I say, but I cannot be responsible for what you understand or don't understand from what I say. Work on that part.